Hello everyone and welcome to a new game of Civilization 6. I've been uploading a lot of content on total conversion mods for Civilization 6, but this time we are playing a normal game. Although we are adding several of the leaders from the New Frontiers expansion, I am playing with Elizabeth myself. She's good with trade rods after uh, the first Fleet Admiral, she gets more trade rods, so that's nice. We are playing True Star Location Europe, and as you can see, because this is True Star Location, I decided to separate the leaders a little bit, so they, all, they don't all spawn in the same spot. That being said, Theodora and Alexander, for example, will be fairly close. That's something we have to consider. Anyway, we are going to be in England pretty much alone. Harald, I guess, will be a little bit isolated as well. And we'll see what happens. I only added the Barbarian Clans mode because it's fun to play. And uh, that's it, really. I don't have anything else to do. Uh, here with the configuration, so we just start the game. And as I said, it's been a while since I played that game, and I have to admit, this is the second time I start this game, because the first time I forgot some very, very basic stuff from the basic game without any mods or without anything, and um, and I made some ridiculous mistakes. So I'm, I'm recording this, um, trying to remember everything about the Civilization VI strategy on the difficulty. Um, and we boosted Astrology, and we have Cardiff, okay. Hmm. I didn't pick the city-states, so I didn't uh, realize I could remove Cardiff. Anyway, I'm going to sell here, right next to the Cliffs of Dover. I think that's a no-brainer, you get a bunch of era points as well. So we're doing that, we got an Envoy in Cardiff. Um, if the configuration was different, honestly, I would be very tempted to just take the Free Settler. But of course I cannot do that. So I'm going to explore the north, I guess. Uh, we're going to go Animal Husbandry first, I always do that. We're going to build a Slinger. I also always do that. And I'm going to take maybe a little bit longer than 9 turns, because I want the gold. And I want the culture. Okay, we got Cardiff immediately, so we will not have a lot of room in our island. We already didn't have a lot of room, but now with Cardiff here, it's even less of that. We do get power for every harbor building. Uh, I will want to build a lot of harbors, so that's actually not completely awful. I will obviously try to be suzerain of Cardiff, that's once again a no-brainer. And I need to start thinking where will I expand, because I didn't include Robert the Bruce, which means there's going to be no Scotland in this game, which means um, basically I will uh, I will have all of the island for myself and Cardiff, of course. So yeah, I discover a second continent is never going to happen, so I cannot boost it. This uh, full European map is going there. And then, ooh, okay, a tribal village, that's nice. Let's go get something from it. And we got something. There are no dogs in heaven. What is this? Oh, Cardiff got me another envoy, that's awesome. I boosted foreign trade. Oh, they give me the boost of foreign trade, that's great because I could never get that organically throughout the game, so that's. That was a very good village, actually. Wow. That was lucky. Okay, let's go builder, I think. I got animal husbandry. We got the horses. I'm going to buy the horses. I cannot lose that to Cardiff, clearly. Um, I'm thinking of getting mining before pottery. Because we have this here. I mean, I don't know if it's worth it just for that, but I think... I think it will be. Okay, it looks like Cardiff is going to stop me from expanding down here in... Um, what is here? Like Bristol, I think? One of those. That's the positive aspect of the well, the map is kind of mm, different to reality, but... Yeah, I cannot expand to that part of the map, basically, because of Cardiff. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's fine. Yeah, uh, we cannot get this copper, that's a shame. 
Okay, not much to do for my slinger here. Let's wait another turn. See what happens. Go here now. You keep exploring. We seem to have a lot of whales here in Scotland. Not in Wales, but in Scotland. Don't let that confuse you. Anyway. Um, yeah, let's go here because the, the units of Cardiff are actually stopping me from exploring the way I would want to do it. Um, they <laughs> really are stopping me from exploring the way I would want to do it. Anyway, at least we are friendly with them and we should be able to be suzerain for this one. Is this, is this uh, Armag maybe? Yeah, this is Armag. Wow. Okay, so two of the city states are the ones that only I could find first because they are very close to England. Um, that was unusual. Usually you get one of those two, but uh, not both of them. Anyway, Armag kind of useless for me. I'm definitely not going um, for anything resembling a religious game. So, yeah, that's that's not gonna happen. Now uh, we could go sailing to start getting the fishing boats. I guess that makes some sense. This dude goes here, and we have a galley. Okay, let's stop that. We are getting. One face per turn already to go to a Pantheon. I want in this particular map uh, the Pantheon that is. Okay, we're going to focus the north to avoid barbarians appearing as a surprise. Um, fog bus means you leave a unit there so there is no fog, and if there is no fog, the barbarians cannot appear. In uh, Civilization 4, that used to be. A very important strategy on daily difficulty. Pretty much, you you could never win daily difficulty if you didn't know how to how to use it. I forgot about removing craftsmanship to get the inspiration. That was a bit silly of me. Anyway, fog busting in Civilization Six not so important as it was. I don't need to fog bust this one because Cardiff is already doing it. Um, so barbarians cannot appear down there either. Anyway, uh, fog busting in Civilization 6, not so important as it was in Civilization 4, but still something good to keep in mind in case you ever need it. You never know. It could happen. This year will do that. Boost irrigation. Excellent. And we continue playing. Sailing is already boosted. Early Empire will not get boosted anytime soon. We've got a galley here. I will attack it. It's kind of important, really. I, I don't want uh, those guys to go around, you know, like attacking London or whatever, or, or destroying my fishing boats or anything like that. Okay, the settler is coming. Well, let's get a few turns out of early empire. We still need a few more turns for the Pantheon. Okay, uh, new barbarians, let's go. Let's go here, let's get another slinger. Uh, we need to be ready for barbarians because this guy is going to spawn even more boats. We need to boost archery, I think. Let's put a few turns into it. Uh, the thing is, if, if all of my cities are going to be coastal and I don't want barbarians to destroy them, so, um, one, two, three, four, like this, for example, could be a city. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this cannot be a city, so it has to be this one. Then the only other source of fresh water I have is up here. One, two, three, four. This could be a city. Nope. It has to be that. Okay. And then up here, one, two, three, four. Maybe here. In the tundra, something like that. Down here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, with Cardiff there, I really cannot have a city over here. So I can only really have four cities in England with Cardiff here. But that is already enough to play. It's pretty much the minimum number to play, but unless you go for some weird strategy of a one city win, which is a completely different thing. But there is a video on this channel showing how to win with just one city. So, you know, that's the kind of thing that you can see if you are subscribed to this channel. Good reason to subscribe. 
no reason to hit the like button so the algorithm will recommend you my videos you know that, that kind of thing it's important to do if you want to see the good videos just saying guys i'm just saying that would not be a complete waste of time anyway we are going with the builder that's fine we don't have amenities for now that is also fine i think so here Stalemate. Let's do it once because the barbarians don't, don't really heal after that. So I can start healing now while my slinger is approaching. And I still have the advantage, really. Uh, one more slinger, or is it not necessary? Let's go trader. So the idea now is fairly simple. We, we get a trade route from Manchester to London. Mm. Isn't Manchester like further up north? Okay, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't care. Um, the, the game, I guess, is not realistic with the names. And this is also a very small map of England, really, not not very realistic one. So we are not going to care so much about that kind of thing. Let's go here. I want to kill this guy with the slinger. Because I want to get the boost to archery, obviously. Yeah, that's good. Let's go. You go here and do your thing. I'm not going to get money from it because then they start spawning stronger units and I really don't want to have to deal with that because this is most mostly going to be a peaceful start in terms of the AI. So if I can make it peaceful also in terms of barbarians, I can pretty much forget about building early game units for a little while. Just a few archers to deal with those annoying barbarian boats. And that's it, you know, that's that's enough. We need to get out of trade war first. Let's get military tradition, which is already boosted. Upgrade this high to an archer. Perfect. You go down here, maybe. Warrior unit can get upgraded, that's fine. The fishing boat stuff. Yeah, more production from fishing boats. Pretty important stuff, and we can see in religion here um, we already have Eastern Orthodoxy. This uh, must have been uh, done by Theodora, I imagine, or Peter, it could be Peter as well. Uh, but it's probably her, and then we have more people already getting great profit points. I don't think I'm going to have a religion in this game. We'll see about it, but. It looks like a no on the whole religion uh, situation. One more archer, maybe. I don't want to start building fishing boats with new builders and then have them, um, you know, um, destroyed by these boats. That's why I'm getting a few, a few more archers here. Okay, this use will go back. This actually will just wait. This guy goes to London because, yeah, we need currency, but more importantly, we need to connect our cities. Recruit a great admiral. I will eventually do that. So I might even become suzerain of Armagh eventually, uh, even though it's not very useful for me. We have Norway here. So finally, we meet Harald. We send a delegation, obviously. And uh, how about you buy like 20 horses? And you pay some uh, ridiculous amount of money. There you go. Cool. Cool stuff. You usually try to sell the horses early. Because later on they can get their own. So Yeah, that's fine though. We're going to... Oh, wait. Barbarians? Oh, down here. This guy will just fog bust in uh, Scotland. And yeah, that's fine. Okay, Norway is also dealing with barbarians. Good for them. Military tradition. Uh, these guys, they should both get boosted, I imagine. Fairly soon for the six population one. 
And we are going to get some money now. Can I buy already a monument in Manchester so we can get some more culture? The answer is no, but it will be yes next turn. So, not too bad. Let's go irrigation before writing, actually. And this guy can go here and just wait. I'm not going to turn him into an archer just yet because I want the monument. And I want this. Oh, I don't have irrigation yet. It's kind of an issue. Okay, uh, I cannot do any of those things. Uh, I don't want to get another settler until I get Magnus as a governor, so I don't lose population. So I'm thinking maybe another builder or maybe... Um, just another monument actually to go a little bit faster with the whole culture situation now this guy um, this guy is going to need a granary because Manchester doesn't have fresh water right now so we, we kind of need something there I cannot move this guy to get the fishing boats because um, yeah we have our variants over there also did I research sailing yeah I did but again we, we have those guys there I don't like that idea. Um, I'm kind of baiting the barbarian attack here. They are not coming, so I will do it and see what happens. Let's lock this. So, yeah, we need amenities for sure. That's been a problematic situation there with the amenities. Okay, we are getting. Early Empire boosted next turn, that's pretty good. You know what, let's do this immediately. We get a couple of error points, but more importantly, we get a map, we get uh, this this bonus here as well in the capital, right? Uh, whenever I'm producing a wonder or anything like that, so that's nice. Let's continue hurting that barbarian. That's good stuff. He might go up here to get this guy, but it's too late now. Early Empire is coming, good stuff. Let's wait. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I boost machinery, but more important, I have more firepower against this dude. Um, yeah, that's good. We want to get here, but State Workforce... I mean... The thing is, if I wait until I boost it, it might take too long. So I think I'm not going to wait, actually. And I need to find another city state, so it could be Granada if it's in the game, it could be one of the Italian ones maybe, it could be Brussels if it's in the game. I might want to actually move a builder to the continent just to find another city state. Uh, it feels weird, but I think that's what's actually going to happen after I build this, obviously, because I absolutely need the luxury. Of course it's going to be a builder with just one charge. And if you are paying more money for more horses, I'm happy to sell. Let's do this, and so the amenity situation is now a little bit better. They are no longer unhappy, kind of important stuff, obviously. So uh, we are going to need science uh, sooner rather than later. Let's go for it. Masonry is going to be important here. I want walls because there are going to be barbarian galleys for a while, I, I imagine. And I'm honestly very tempted to just build the hanging gardens. I almost never go for them, but um, uh, if you are growing peacefully, then the that 15% is actually very nice. Um, let's see. Could go for the money, but I still want the attack on, on those guys. Um, that being said, we are going to promote Magnus here and do this. So now, yeah, I think I, I need to, to put them, the production towards settlers. I get those two cities up and running as soon as possible. And yeah, there you go. This use has only one build. I think it's going to go through here. That should be the easiest way to do it. We're going to get to France, like the like the song uh, goes, you know, get to France. Na, 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 na. Okay, whatever. Get to France. You know the song I'm talking about. Uh, by, um, you know, the singer, the one that used to sing uh, Moonlight Shadow and all that stuff. 
Um, yeah. Um, what is this? Eurekas. I think Eurekas. Yeah, let's go Eurekas. I should still have a lot of Eurekas, like three barbarians, that should happen. I killed one already. Um, minor resource, that should happen. Um, what else? Two sea resources, that is definitely going to happen. I could even build two galleys in this particular map, which I almost never do. Water mill will happen. A bill ancient walls will happen. Three mines will happen. Yeah. We still have a lot of Eurekas there, so we can get some era points from that. Writing is easy, I agree. I find it fairly easy. I've been doing it for, for you know, quite a few years now. And it was never a big issue for me. You just you just put your, your pen you know, on paper and then you, you write. And you draw the shape of the letters. This is tough, really. You know, I don't see why that would be a problem for anyone. You know what? Let's move this guy. See if I can do something about this barbarian. Is this guy going to get killed by barbarians? Place your bets. Okay, so this is France. I think I didn't include France in this map. Come to think of it. Um. Okay, campus eventually should happen. Government plaza also should happen. Um, can I get a campus with any sort of adjacency? Absolutely not. Government plaza maybe? Here? Mm. What else can I do? Let's get another builder. It's targeting the mines for the three mine Eureka. That should be good. Also, builders are always useful to be, to be fair. Okay, we do have Germany and we do have Portugal. Apparently, no Brussels. Right, Brussels Very should classic. spawn. Oh, hello, dude. Uh, would you please not kill my builder so I can find a third city state so I can boost political philosophy? You know, the whole deal. Maybe go for drama first. Actually, no, this one. Well, no, drama. That's the one that we're going to go for. Oh, hello, Ludwig of Bavaria. How are you doing, my friend? I would love you to some your hospitality. Definitely no Brussels. Uh, which other city states we could have here? I said Granada before. That's uh, south of Spain. So we are going to go for that. Uh, the Italian ones, of course, but Julius Caesar is in the game, so we have to be, um, you know, considering that maybe the Italian city, spa city states might not have spawned because of that. I don't exactly know. I'm not selling you these. Uh, I don't need. Well, actually, I could need open borders. Okay, that's totally fine. Let's go with this one. I am happy to sell my horses to improve my economy. I don't need the granary here. Okay, let's just go. I will keep the money and buy monuments in the new cities. That should be a good idea. Currency, kind of important actually. Can I mine a resource anywhere? Well, I should have iron, right? Well, let's put a few turns into this. Let's see if I can somehow kill three barbarians. I might not be able to kill three barbarians. Because it looks like uh, maybe Harald is dealing with those uh, barbarian galleys. And if that's the case, I'm not killing three of them. So, What is this forest called? If there is some French viewer here, I don't remember the name of that forest. I don't even know if it exists um, anymore. I could wait until the new city is built and just do it from the new city and, and I think I'm going to do just that so the new city can grow a little bit faster yeah you're going to wait just another turn alright so this is the Pyrenees I know that much because I live fairly close to the Pyrenees actually um, I live fairly close to Barcelona a little bit to the north of Barcelona 
so just you know just like like an hour and a half from the Pyrenees maybe two hours depending on which part I'm going and yeah um, I live fairly close to that so anyway mm, this guy just got a monument very nice we don't need the granary so quickly because this uh, guy liver Liverpool this is not Liverpool at all if you are going to put an English city here and, and this should be I guess Scottish but uh, I don't know but you could do like Newcastle I guess but anyway I don't know I, I'm not an expert in English geography I lived in London for a while I remember the south but not so much the north anyway how about walls I'm, I'm very tempted to just build walls but let's go with you know let's go with walls because this guy is getting a builder. Let's do these. Oh uh, yeah, this one will get locked for sure. Yeah, I don't see any more barbarians anywhere. Looks like uh, yeah, Harald really dealt with uh, all of the barbarians. Uh, he could be attacking me at some point. I guess we could start declaring some friendship. Let's send a delegation. Let's declare friendship. Let's sell some horses, maybe. He does not have any horses. So if they have zero, you give them 20. That's enough for, for a couple of units. So they're usually happy with that and they pay a good price. I'm going right here to hope there is Granada. And if there is no Granada there, I'm going to be stuck in Spain for no reason. So I hope that doesn't happen. Okay, your delegation is most welcome. I get my 25 gold back, which is pretty good stuff. Let's. Oh, we already have, um, yeah, fishing boats there. So we're going to get this one and then the pasture here for the ship. This dude could go with the ancient walls, or I could just ignore that entire thing. Go for the oracle. Go for the government plaza. I'm going to just go for the government plaza. Is this Portuguese? Because if this is Portuguese, I think Granada is not in the game. Right, I just have to assume. What is this? Yeah, Portugal has a city around here. I have to assume Granada is not in the game. Let's see if we can find the Italian cities. Maybe one of those is in the game. We boost the Celestial Navigation, which means we are not doing fishing boats down here. London, I guess, will go for a builder eventually. Who did I meet? Oh, Granada is in the game. Look at that. They are just very far from, from this place. Okay. Good, good stuff. Hello, Granada. Yeah, I'm voiced by Joao. That makes perfect sense. And we did boost political philosophy, so that's, that's beautiful. What are we going for here? That. Yeah, let's not do that. I don't think I'm actually going to build the Hanging Gardens, but I guess I could give it a quick shot just in case. And then this guy will, will get a builder then. This use goes here. Okay, I think Harald wants me to build um, a navy, so I guess the agenda is still the same, even if we have the Varangian Harald. And uh, that's that's it for the first like what uh, 70 turns. Wow, that was so that was super fast. That was super fast, which means I'm very very late in technology. I guess with this isolated start, I can't really go around conquering Europe. Uh, which means I have to win what exactly? Diplomatic victory maybe. I guess I could send a huge navy and conquer Norway. But apart from that I have to go, I think, either cultural or diplomatic. I'm going to decide that very soon. Uh, for now, I think this was enough for this video. We will see my decision in the next one. Until then, please remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you very much for watching.